Hello, everybody, and good Sunday morning from Orphan Car Garage on this July the 4th, 2021. Here we have something quite outstanding. If you were a child in the 1970s or even 80s, you're going to love this because I do. Here we have a 1971 AMC Ambassador Brome eight passenger station wagon. This car is just incredible. An original survivor car from North Carolina. I have the original invoice. I have the original window sticker. I have the dealer sticker on the tailgate showing when the car was bought new and I'll show you that in a minute. All original paint, a beautiful 1970s pea green paint. Doesn't get much better than that. We have the paint all corrected by our resident paint corrector, John Savage. Amazing job he did. This car has all original paint and it shows it just came out outstanding the original chrome is still on the vehicle really shows that it was from north carolina this car has never been subjected to real harsh weather there's no rot on this car there's no rust on this car the undercarriage is as clean as the top of course you've got the um, wood grain decals of course by 1971 it wasn't real wood they're a little faded there is proof of southern temperatures on this but uh it's all original and i would leave it that way i suppose if you wanted to re wood grain the vehicle with some new decals it would really pop but i'm an original guy so i'm all about preserving the original really really straight clean car no rust no rust on the car very few flaws at all the glass is great the roof rack is there and in beautiful shape a little bit of paint perforation here and there but it shows its originality it gives it character i think i wouldn't touch it a little bit more right there uh, and then of course in the back here we've got that wonderful third row seat and if you were a kid in the 70s like i was i loved this seat i would beg the driver to go over bumps so we could bounce off the seat without seat belts of course and hit our head on the ceiling speaking of the ceiling the headliner is in terrific shape this car was owned by the same family up until 2017. The original owner loved it that much. He kept it in his estate that long. We purchased it from the estate. There's the sticker from where it was bought new, City Motors in Greensboro, North Carolina. And like I said, I have the paperwork to back that up. We installed the dual exhaust on the vehicle because it needed the exhaust replacement. So we installed the nice throaty dual exhaust. Passenger side is about as nice as the driver's side, except there is one unfortunate dent here on the right rear door. A good body shop could probably pound that out. However, I think it gives the car a little bit of character. Shows its age. I mean, the car is 50 years old. We replaced the tires and the brakes. Lots and lots and lots of mechanical work done on this car recently. A ton of paperwork to prove that. I'm not going to go into it now on this video. It would take much too long. But let me just tell you that the car has gone, been gone through mechanically with no expense spared. You could literally drive this car to California today. This is the back seat, the carpeting. The family did have lots of children, but they were obviously well behaved because the, car's in, the car was preserved into really, really good shape. Front seat, almost as nice as the back seat. A little bit of stitching issues there, but nothing ripped. No rips on the seats at all. Door panels are all nice. The carpet, the original carpet, little bit of fading, but not bad. It's actually better in person than it shows in the video. Car has 111,000 miles on it. Not bad for its age. Does have factory air conditioning, which all ambassadors did in 1971. It was standard equipment, which was sort of unusual for that time period. However, the AC does not blow cold air. It is all hooked up. There's a belt on the compressor but it does not blow cold air. I believe it needs a new compressor. The AM radio also doesn't work, nor does the fuel gauge. It has a brand new gas tank in it. I was able to locate a new old stock AMC gas tank for this vehicle, which was amazing. And we also put in a new sending unit for the gas tank, but the gauge does not work. So I'm assuming there's an issue with the dash on the gauge. Other than that, there's nothing wrong with the car. You can really just get in and drive it. It's very turnkey, put the family in it, have a blast. I've got the original window sticker here, a little bit of a documentation, the original window sticker, the original title, 
registrations from North Carolina, a dealer brochure. This car is really nice. You'd never probably be hard pressed to find another one. And again, in true orphan car garage fashion, I'm reasonably pricing this at $9,500, under 10,000, which is always my target for classics and collectibles that you can drive. Not too many guys like me out there. If this car was on a big box lot, you'd be sure they'd be asking twice that. So I, like all my other cars, I don't expect it to last long. You want more pictures or videos, let me know. I can customize something for you. Like my page, subscribe to my page, find us on Facebook. We're always putting our latest arrivals on Facebook. I have a website also, www.orphancargarage.com. My name is John. I look forward to hearing from you.